Are we good? Good morning. How are you? It's uh, yeah. It it. I promise we're not just doing all of the running around just as a um, just as a little act. We really were unorganized. So uh, look, I'll be here. Do you know what's in here? Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry we were late, but I was literally waiting for that to call. Um, this bag, just for our, um, Rob's going to find my <gasps> glasses. Thank you. Heavens. Um, this bag I just moved off the floor because I was worried I was going to trip on it. It's the presents that I'm sending to my fabric agents in LA. And I've figured the last thing that they would want is things made with my fabric. Um, evidently not. They would love some. But, uh, yeah, that's what... Why have you all gone? Where have you all gone? Happening now. I know it's all happening now. Goodness. All right. So, uh, I went to my local post office and bought them decorations. Have you seen these? I think are in every single post office, aren't they? The big, the big baubles with the kangaroos and stuff. So I've got those. And wait, wait. I don't, I don't like it when I can't see you. Just a minute. I have to see you. I need to know who's here. And my phone's doing funny things. Where are you? I know you're here, but I can't, I can't see you. There we go. Oh, oh, goodness, Jenny. There you all are. Okay, so uh, I've bought the calendars. You know, we go, oh, who wants an Aussie calendar? But trust me, if you work in downtown textile industry region of LA, they love them. Absolutely love them. So I've got all of those and maybe, maybe I will, I might still make a few things um, to send, but of course that would have to be next week and it's got to go with more uh, design work and colour stuff. So, But uh, we use a uh, private Learjet, <laughs> also uh, known as Priority FedEx to get stuff back and forth between us. So that's the plan. <gasps> Love you lots, long time. No so we ran out of coffee pods in a coffee house. Do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Deliveries a week overdue. <gasps> It'll do. It'll do. It's all good. That'll get me through. I'm probably perky enough, but you know. Maggie, good morning to you. Hey, Meg, I'm going to redo your um, Christmas decoration next week. It's sitting on a very nice bottle of wine at the moment. So thank you very much. Hello, Jane. Hello, Louise. Good morning. Why did Louise come up in conversation? Louise came up in conversation. Jenny Chandler, that roll of batting is not a scratchy pot. Oh, Thank you very much. Um, morning, Jane. Morning, Louise. Yeah, Louise came up in conversation. Why did Louise come up? I don't know. Lou, it sorry. Chrissy Dex. No, it wasn't Chrissy Dex. It was something else. Judy Van Mullen came up in conversation. I found your text message. Only three, four days late. No, I did not know about the kitty cats. I will ring you later. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Mel. Oh, Mel, your Christmas decoration and everyone else's is now chuffing its way express post back to you. So I had a lovely day packing up everyone's Christmas decorations. Um, it was not a generic Christmas present. I chose what I was sending everybody individually and wrapped it and it was lovely. So they're all on their way back to you. Uh, they went Friday or they're going tomorrow. But they're all going express. So you'll have them by the end of the week. And I'm sorry, but they're a little bit later than I planned. <sighs> Don't do very well without the Steve in the building. Good morning, Nancy. Oh, Nancy says hello, everyone. Diana's here as well. Lovely to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Lynn. Lynn, I, is it because I had everyone's Christmas decks? I think about everybody. I don't know. Karen is here as well. Just got back in time. You've got visitors coming today. Well, that's just a novelty around, isn't it? Good morning, Jackie Francis. Um, <laughs> you just came to say hi. I like that, Jonah. Sally's here too. Okay, so you're all here. Oh, Judith, good morning to you. Filled your order myself yesterday. Uh, Lorraine, Yvonne, ah, oh, the team's in the building. 
Rosemary can't join us. Got to go to Berrima for a family lunch. Love Berrima. Berrima's a lovely spot. Used to go through there with mum and dad. Hello, Cindy and your gorgeous granddaughter. Um, listen, I read what you wrote about getting together and sewing with your granddaughter and that's sensational. Love it. And good up. Suze, it's not afternoon, it's morning. I know it's not where you are though, but thank you very much for joining us all the way from the US. Good morning, uh, Kristen. And Patricia's here as well. Yay, 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 yay. Colleen's here. Okay, are we, uh, well, sorry I was late. You know, we it's not like we slept in. We were up and out and, and on the road by about quarter past six this morning. Maybe, maybe I did spend yesterday still doing Christmas decoration, posting back, and maybe I was doing other sewing, and then it was like, who set a show for 10 a.m. Sunday morning? I did. I did. And look, it really, oh my God, this cake smells good. My stomach's rumbling now. Um, I did want to get together this morning, because I know we didn't do a show all last week, and I know a lot of you are going, what's she doing? It really was that Steve wasn't here and it was club week. So club week now for us is massive. And I bit the bullet after we did all of our Christmas shows. I bit the bullet and said, you know what? We really, really need to get ahead with the clubs because with Christmas coming up and people going on holidays and all those sorts of things, I wanted to get ahead. So it was a, a really, really big week. Um, and we have been doing lots and lots of cutting and kitting for Be Mindful. So for all the girls that are doing that, and your second one came out last week, all of those right through, you know, and making sure that we've got enough fabric. So in month 11, if I need a particular green for you, um, yeah, okay, so that's still eight months away. But if the fabric's not in stock anywhere, I need to order it, and it may take three to four months to get it. So we have to be really, really careful that we've got everything also with Be Mindful, this gorgeous thing. And I always say I'm going to send it back after I hang it again. And I didn't again. Well, they haven't, you know, I haven't had the rude send back the quilt message. So um, I think Michelle's happy for it to be here at the moment. But we uh, decided to redo, with Michelle's permission, as you know, all the patterns. So Cass and I, a massive job. But that has actually now been done. And we will run it again. Um from uh, the end of January so because we've had a lot of people that missed out on the first round so we also had to take that into consideration when we were looking at kits and fabric and stuff moving forward so we will we will run it again and it will run from the end of January now Steve said before he left if that's what we wanted to do he wants to do it differently for setting up subscriptions for clubs for next year if you would like to be part of this again um, starting late January then then please send me an email what we're actually going to do it's like a little bit of a combination of the way that we used to do clubs and then with the new website so we will capture all your details and then we will set up your membership from the last day of January and that's the day that you will first pay for the club and then it will come out of it'll it'll get charged at the same time every month so um, with the girls running at the moment it gets charged every month on the same day you joined and that works fine but then it gets a bit confusing for people about when they pay and when they get it so it's just it's a learning curve so we're going to run this again yeah from the end of january um yeah so if you would like to be in you just need to email me at info at chandler's cottage and we will get in touch with you personally you don't put all your details in there just email me say lisa i want in for be mindful or michelle's quilt and I will personally contact you by phone and set that up for you um, to start next year. So it was a big week doing that. And M was here on Tuesday. So I, <laughs> I uh, let her know that on, um, I, ran, I texted her on Monday and I said, tomorrow, no show, no lipstick, tracksuit, brain, bring brain. And she's like, what are you talking about? I said, there's no show. And she sort of wanted to know what. Who was I and where had I gone? But we sat at this desk pretty much from 9.30 to 4, oh, editing, 
patterns, um, revamping some old ones that we wanted to give a new lease of life to and do again. Uh, we worked on geisha techniques. We worked on so much stuff. My brain hurt when she left the building. But she's going to work from home this week coming because uh, COVID, that thing, is quite rife through primary schools in Bayside at the moment. And Emma works in one where it hasn't affected her but, you know, we're always trying to be really uh, responsible. So we're going to FaceTime each other and work on the same patterns, but her at her house in Endeavour Hills and me at mine on Tuesday. So we're just getting ready. We, we need to be ready to bring you new things. You know, even if it's one new thing a week, it's still a lot of work. So that's what we're doing. Now, this cake is just driving me nuts. So do you remember Petra offered, actually, Rob, yeah. can you grab Petra's... Recipe off the windowsill, please, in the kitchen. Do you need a scone as well? Do I need a scone? Just bring the rack. Uh -huh. Bring the whole rack. Rob's been baking scones this morning. Uh -huh. He took the brunch thing literally, absolutely literally. Petra very, very kindly um, sent us the recipe for her mum's... Oh, you're a good man. Thanks. I'll have those. Hi, Jean. No, Thanks. Um, her mum's almond ring and then when I was speaking to Margaret and everyone else that's got Dutch heritage they've gone yeah that's a thing it's a normal thing um, which one who's freezing oh okay you keep freezing is it just me oh I don't think so. oh sorry I missed that Rob are you watching all these what's up so, someone said it was freezing yeah, is it freezing? Yeah. No, the screen, not the temperature. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, no, it's all right at this end. Okay. I, I read that as a, t a temperature. Oh, it's a temperature. Oh, not the screen. I've got to look at the comments more often. All right. So, are you ready? You've got pen and paper. Um, I am. I've got this all set up for the girls in a quilter's life. I'm popping up the recipe card uh, from Petra for you. But do you want the overhead? I'm. I'm. You know I love to cook, and you know I do all the fancy schmancy... No, it wasn't, Robert, it was the screen. The fancy schmancy shots, right? Look at that. First off, da-da! I'm quite chuffed with that. I'm very, very happy with that. All right, so Petra wrote, This is my mum's Dutch almond ring. And Margaret just like reeled off all these other things that you're supposed to do as well. Let me put it there so I can show it to you as well. Okay, ready? We've got, she says it can be made several months in advance and stored in the refrigerator. Um, and tell you what, it's pretty easy to remember. It, it's 125 grams of ground almonds. And she said she can start from scratch with blanched ones, but I had ground ones already in the cupboard. Uh, and 125 grams of sugar, one egg, and the half, grated rind of half a lemon. That's it. Oh, sorry, obviously. Uh, ready rolled puff pastry. And I used two sheets. I cheated and I used two sheets and I overlapped them. Robert made some curt joke about using an overlocker to join them. I overlapped them and just rolled the middle bit and then I did the log. That's fine. Let me, let me go back. Put the ground almonds, the sugar and the egg and the rind all in a bowl. Mix it well. Stick it in a glass airtight jar or container with a lid. I just did mine overnight because I didn't. Because, Patch said, it's really good to let it mature flavour wise. Um, and then I rolled it out into a big log that was one and a half inches thick sausage. And then I laid it over the two sheets of drone pastry. I rolled it up and then I put it into a ring. And then I made little fancy schmancy um, cuts on the top. And then after it came out of the oven, it was 20 minutes at 100 and 220. After it came out, I used the warm apricot glaze that, oh, sorry, that Petra said to put on and I stuck that on, I stuck my cherries on at the same time because I just figured it needed the cherries because it's festive. Anyway, shall we cut it and just see what's inside and then we'll get on to do some fabric. But it is brunch, let's face it, you know, I'll cut a bit. 
So, as I mentioned as well, my mum is a marzipan freak. So I sent her a picture. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's not too shabby, is it? Look at that. So it's all homemade marzipan inside. Um, I sent her a picture and she wrote back and said, because they're coming down for dinner tonight, she said, Cruskets for lunch then. <laughs> all right. I think it's really rude to eat live on Facebook unless you're on a food show. But I have to just, I just want to try the marzipan bit. Oh my goodness me. And um, that's only been left overnight. Oh, heavens, Petra, what have you done to our waistlines? Goodness. Yum. Where did you find the wet one? Where did, where did that even come from? Oh no, I know what that is. I don't want one of them. That's disgusting. That's one of those antibacterial wipes from the kitchen. It works. Oh, here, can you take this? I'm going to scoff that bit later. Now, this recipe of yours, Roberto. Oh. Oh. There's one missing. Um, <laughs> now, that's a, that's thermomix, but you could do it without a thermomix, couldn't you? Yeah. Look, look, look sorry. This brag shot. I know a lot of your hubbies cook. Look at those. Are they insane? These are Rob's cheese scones. I will also um, be putting these up on Quilter's Life. Uh, the secret to this recipe is um, buttermilk. And lots and lots of cheese. What? So we, we were going to be organised. I was going to be organised and serve these this morning. I'm not sure I can put the recipe with mashed avocado. All right. It all it all kind of feels like craft and cook show, doesn't it? Remember that thing I said I was going to do again? Goodness. Oh well. So, enough of the food. Um. Oh, Karen's married into a Dutch family. I I love the way that. I love the way that when you can see the crossover between different cultures and that happens with textiles all the time as well all the time so uh, and i will often look at things and go that looks english but it also looks egyptian but it also looks italian or it also looks uh, indian there's lots and lots of crossover and i see that as well with things like that so um the pastry rolls and the rings and everything i've got them from other cultures with their hazelnut and honey, or their, you know, there's lots of different ones, isn't there? And it happens with fabric, all the, just like that, just throw that in the corner, all the time as well. Anyway, look, we're here for a short time this morning, aren't we? Because it's, look, I don't know where you are, but it's an absolutely glorious Sunday here, and I have a veggie garden that is still in need of a massive weed. Weed, weed, weed. Now, but just back to our shows last week, as I said, I got all of the, Christmas decorations together and thank you so much again for everyone that sent in your decorations it was just fabulous and at the end of the week our dining table just looked fantastic because they were all back there all ready to get packed up and sent back but it was just this beautiful display of everyone's decorations and it was just it was just lovely so there was however one poor little parcel that probably went took a little bit of a detour and didn't make it in time for the show so steve walked in the door monday morning when held up this express post parcel and went no it's decorations and we were both a little bit sad but it just means that we will showcase them here um this morning and they are just they're just beautiful um sylvia harrison sent these down uh, for us and they I know a lot of you will have seen them but they're Santa hats uh, let me I'm gonna put them on my fingers now a lot of you may have I don't know I'm not I'm not a knitter I'm a very awkward knitter but they've got bells um, in case you don't have 
the pattern, Sylvia centers the pattern as well for them. So I'm going to publish it. Uh, I'll pop it in a newsletter with a picture of them. Hang on, let me just give you the... Look at them! Aren't they the cutest? So she says, uh, let me get her book. I'm sit here really awkwardly. Hold these up for you. It says, uh, I've enclosed some chocolate hats. Um, I'm sure they're Santa hats that I make at this time of year. I hope you like them. I didn't put the chocolate balls in as they wouldn't travel well. They take either, oh, well, hello. They take either a lint chocolate ball or a Ferrero Rocher. Of course they do. And I've enclosed the pattern for them. They're quick to make. Have a great Christmas. Oh, and she doesn't want them back. She has plenty. Well, you know what? I might just take you up on that, Sylvia, because I just think they are amazing. So, so that is, yep, yep, yep. That is big enough to sit a chocolate ball in. And then they're going to sit really nicely. And she's, she's got the pattern here for us. So I will type this up and put it up. And she's actually got it sitting with this gorgeous little elf. And there's all these little balls. Uh, so little hats with little chocolate balls underneath. How gorgeous is that? So I will pop that in a newsletter. Sylvia, thank you so much for sending them. Look, she's put this. She obviously knows about my family. Um, and I might actually give a couple to Emma. Because you know Emma's mum's the, as we discussed, the lint chocolate ball expert and as Sharon Keys knows the factory outlets around the corner so that's just a whole recipe whole recipe for disaster absolute disaster hello Nan thank you for joining us oh, Jill good morning to you um, Maxine's here <laughs> Jenny Miller you're a hoot okay sweetie all right so what have I got now I hope I got it right because I was all ready for the show and then I went, I haven't put anything on the website. I sort of usually have a system and it, it all went, so that's why we were a little bit late. Um, Christmas gifts, maybe, or for you over summer is where we're at and I will be upgrading everyone's post to express post. I just think that that's the best thing to do. you ordering anything that demands... Um, a parcel then I will do that for you this week and one of the things that I'm sort of thinking about now is is that if you're super organized I'm not I haven't even started Christmas for my lot yet but and it's at my house um, Christmas is nearly we're nearly done and I and I want to sort of start thinking about you and what you're going to do for yourself after Christmas so that's sort of where my head's going now so some of the things, yep, they make great gifts, but you don't want to push yourself too hard now. We're getting quite close to the day. If you've pretty much got everything done, don't, don't push yourself to do more. Just write all those ideas down and they're going to be for next Christmas, they're going to be for birthdays, or they're going to be something for you, just for you to do. So with that in mind, um, we had arrived this week and maybe a little bit late, they should have been here last month, um, some beautiful CAFE facet jigsaw puzzle so Kate's done the little bit of entrepreneurial thing I did think about if we should do under the Australian sun in jigsaws but I now have a direct I haven't a, a one-step line to um, Mr. Kate so I might have to get Natasha to ask him for me but these are beautiful um, and these so everything for today that I could get to quick enough is tagged with show 16. If I've mucked it up, just search something in the description. So if I haven't done the jigsaw, just put in CAFE and it, and it will come up. But look at these. Whoa. Now when we add things, oh you've got the light shining on it. When we add things into the website, that's all you get. It's nothing on the back. Just one big gorgeous jigsaw puzzle. Um, we have to put the weight in. And I'll be honest, I have actually weighed this today to work out the weight, including a nice big piece of bubble wrap so that I can um, pack it up really nicely and safely to get to you. 
29 and a half inches by 19.7 inches. Mate, what are you doing to me? So that's 75 centimetres by about 50 centimetres. Hey, that's a generously sized jigsaw puzzle. That's quite, that's quite big, Rob, isn't it? Yeah, it's a thousand pieces. Okay, Rob's our resident jigsaw person, jigsaw person, jigsaw puzzle person. Um, thousand pieces, and he's actually put on the side jigsaw puzzle for adults. <laughs> I think that's rather funny. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's got a little thing about CAFE. If you know anyone that's CAFE minded, this is the present that keeps on going. Uh, I've got, Robert, you can't have one. You can't have one. No, I've only got ten. You can't have one. The girls get them. Sorry. You you have enough jigsaw puzzles that Maybe you haven't you filled them. If there's a leftover, uh, and they're twenty, they are twenty nine fifty. So that's not, is that okay for a jigsaw? Yeah, for a thousand pieces. Compared to what you paid in Ocean, uh, Leanne yes. and I paid in Ocean Grove for yours mm. last Christmas. Half yeah. price. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, they're gorgeous. All right, so we've got those, and then the other thing I wanted to share with you was well, there's a couple of things. We have new zip colours in. So we have red. Um, and I will, I'm just going to do a little bit of sewing this morning. It's it's sort of a little bit of a two birds, one stone thing because I want to make something for someone. So I'm going to uh, wear, where's my other zip cord on? Handsome. I knew this had happened today. I'd have to call him constantly. Can you grab me? What have I done? Oh no, I'm right. Sorry. I'm good. I'm good. They're here. Um, right, red zip. So this is now in. And if you remember how this works, we've got... Ginny, can you take it? Oh my God. Look at it. Is that not... M set eyes on this. And she was like, oh. And she promptly took some home. So we've now got zip, zippy zip, and with this one, I have put the flower, the star, because I thought you might make, be making something Christmas, and I've also put the straight one, because you also might be making something for a nice guy. So I've put the nice straight one in. So if you remember what happens with these, if you order one set, you get one meter and the three. If you order two two sets, we cut the two metres in a continuous length and we put in six, two of each and and so on. So it it's just beautiful and I hope you're all having a really good time with all the ombre ones as well. Um, but I've got something that goes with this and so leave that there. And then the other gorgeous colour that has come in, I've already put that's why I got confused because I'd already pulled a couple of my um, pulls onto this one. This gorgeous lilac colour and when sort of I order these things a long time before they come in and then it arrives I go what was I thinking but no 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 I've just I've realized now what I was thinking so look at this one isn't it gorgeous now because of the colour I sort of had to think about which pulls to put on again Robert can you remove the fur ball please because her bell's driving me nuts there you go. So you've got flower and a heart going in this one and also the star. There you go. So they're just, it's just so pretty. And I will show you what I had in mind. All right. Are you all okay? Oh, Christine, you got your parcel this morning. That's lovely. I'm so pleased. Oh, just a tick. We obviously got a problem. Hang on. Robbie, the girls are saying we're frozen and you're not listening to me. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> the 
Rob's on the floor. He's going under the camera because he's decided he's not dressed for public viewing. All rubbish. <laughs> okay, look at this. Is that not just the funkiest lanyard that you have ever seen? So, um, this brings in some of the fabric that I want to show you this morning as well. So we've got new lanyard fittings that are on the website. And I've got new fabrics to show you that will also go with the zips. So I think I'll show you these overhead, but I'm just a bit, a bit excited about these. Every now and then a fabric comes in, and we've, we have had a few lately, haven't we, that are just what on earth, and you just don't know where to start. So have a look at this. Sorry, just here. Christine got her parcel. Well, Christine, you've got another parcel coming with your Christmas decoration too. And you've got your... You're getting them this morning. That's amazing. So they're all delivering on a Sunday as well. You ready? This is Robert Kaufman. It is digitally printed. It is called a very boring name. It is just called Waves. I don't understand how they could not come up with something better. It's obviously... I don't know. But it should be called something more amazing than that. This colorway is called Rainbow. And you're saying, Lise, there's only half the rainbow. There's the other half. So, you get it all across. So that's what the lanyard is made from. Just a four inch strip of this gorgeous fabric. Look at that. So we start at pink. We work our way to blue, we go to green, and we come all the way around. So that is the first one. Just beautiful. Now, I wanted to be able to give you something to match up with this, to use with it if you wanted to make a bag or purses or something, which is what I'm doing. Um, excuse me for a minute. Jin Jin, you're too noisy. You need to go out. Go play out there. We do not need Santa bells. So I grabbed this and I popped this on special this morning, which you know is my favorite, favorite ombre. But if you have a look, if you're going to make a bag with this or purses, I, I can't think beyond, I have thought of one thing beyond that, but if you needed something to complement it to go with it, Pretty good isn't it so this is on special down from 26 to 18 and this is just for today I'm going to pull this down pretty quick so just for today because we've got to get to that point don't we where we sort of go that's it um, let me pick a time and I'll put it in the bio later we'll say 6 p.m. tomorrow night or when stock runs out you're supposed to say that aren't you or when stock runs out so that and that so these, I'm just going to pop them back up here for now, because um, I just think, what? Okay, and then, this is the other one. Oh, and I pulled out, not on special, but I just wanted to, I pulled that out to put with that red, one of our essential applique packs, because I just thought that was pretty good. Why do I have tosses? This is the other one. No, Cindy, I do not have heaps. You don't know when you order something what it's going to look like. I'm going to hop straight back online and see if I can get some more. A little bit like the infamous elephant fabric, which now is on its way. Because we didn't have enough. But you, I don't know, I just didn't think, oh, I'll give it a go. But then when it arrives, um, because like you're ordering online, I order online as well. So... All right, you ready? Now, this one does not do the whole rainbow like the other one. This one stays within a color theme. So that's one side, and that's the other. So it really is a shade of light to dark. Look at that. And then, this is what I want to do to you. That's when I got a little bit excited, because this goes beautifully with it. Absolutely spot on, gorgeous. And then... 
Uh, I wanted to find you something to go with it and pop it on special just until 6 p.m. tomorrow night. And there's this gorgeous thing, remember, that we haven't had for very long. Um, I just love it. So I thought this was really good if you wanted to use it for a lining or to complement. And uh, if I've stuck my glasses on, Seguara, say, I can't do it, Seguaro, whatever I said last time. Anyway, Maywood, beautiful. It's got, remember, it's got that little bit of luster in it. So that goes really well. And then you've got your zip. It goes beautifully with this. Also, I put her out. Is she out there? Yeah. I do love my cat. She just decides it's time to preen from head to toe. Smack on showtime. Okay, so I'm going to pop them up there again for a minute. Now, the other ones that I've popped on special for you today, if you remember um, Michelle's gorgeous bag, hang on, let me just grab it for you. This, this is Michelle's beautiful bag. So remember the Madison set that we've been promising you for ages and ages? Um, Emma and I worked on this. We're on our second draft of the pattern, and it's a major pattern because there are actually three things going in it. So there's going to be this gorgeous bag we're going to call the retro bag, and then there's the bow clutch that goes inside. Now, Michelle had a little trinket one, trinket box with this, trinket purse with this, but we're actually going to run one of our square glasses cases. So what was really interesting while we were um, editing this was that um, Michelle's made the bag herself and, and maybe made it up a bit as she went, which is the true way of designing. You just see how it goes. And she's done some really quirky, cool techniques that Emma and I haven't used before. So when we hit one of those, we can't go, oh yeah, we'll do that like that bag or that bag or that bag. We actually have to stop and think and write instructions from scratch because a lot of the time it is a case of popping quite a few different techniques together. So um, we then, we went through the whole pattern, which took a while, it's quite, it's massive, and there'll be lots of photos and things in it as well, and it will be available as a hard copy, or you'll be able to digitally download it, all right. But then we had to do two sets of fabric to, for M to take one set home, and for me to get the other one to do here, um, and, you know, we had to decide what to use. So Emma took home two fabrics that were from this collection. Can you, you can't do anything about that girl, can you? Because she's ringing in my ear. No, it's okay at the moment. All right, so, um, yeah, so we, she took home two from this one, and Rob's, <laughs> she said, oh, did you hear that? That wasn't good. That was like, I need to sit here right in the doorway. How, how dare you move me? Um, she took home the, the black with the butterflies from this collection and the stripe, and so they are now out of the picture because we will make up kits with them. But the other ones that are from this collection, I have popped three of them on special. And uh, the green that was in this set is also not available anymore. That was the little dotty round design because it's now stashed for the geisha. So there are three. And I thought I'll pop them on special for the girls that love purple. But also, look, it is absolutely perfect, this new lilac one. And I thought, well, that's... That is really nice. I will show everyone that this morning because let me move the red out. Of there. Because look at this. So if you wanted to, oh look, strobing teeth. Uh, if you wanted to make up a little bag set for someone, look, it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect to use. Jonathan is here. Good on you, mate. You still love that quilt behind me. 
Sylvia's never made a bag. Sylvia, next year is the year. <gasps> Lisa's here. Good morning, mate. How are you? How are things? Have things dried out? <laughs> Have things dried out and did you go down and see the river? That's what I want to know. Okay, so there's that one. And there's this one. So this one will go as well. Actually, this would probably make really nice lining for this one. There you go. Uh, and the other one is the black one with the chrysanthemum flowers. Very, very, very little bit of this left. There's not much left there at all. But see, so good. Now, so it was obviously meant to be. Um, I will keep hunting for other things that go with the lilac. I have a sneaking suspicion there's some under the Australian sun that goes. I will work on that and I will come back to you next week. Okay, so they're up. There's not a lot of all of them, but you know, if you if you love the look of the lilac zip and you do want something to go with it, they will all go as well as those new fabrics. So that's nice. Now, back to our lanyard. Super easy to make, okay? So I've got, I think it's in here. I just think these make the best presents. No, what have I done with it? Oh no, here it is. Here it is, here it is. Oh, good morning, Donna. Stuck in isolation. No, no, don't look at it like that. It's not stuck in isolation it's woohoo I get to stay home and sew time don't don't think of it like oh no you can't be having a cataract done now I understand but you know you, you it's just you're at home and you've got to chill mate and wait um it's green in Alice and of course you went down and saw the Todd Lease ah <laughs> uh, I would have loved to have seen it look at that isn't that great? Okay, so with these lanyards, we actually have three sets. We have the gold set that you can see here. So you get two in a pack. It's not. I've called it gold. I know you have. Rob says copper. It's co it's coppery gold. It's it's bright gold. Oh, well, I wasn't calling I wasn't calling the brass ones antique gold this time. They are brass. Oh, I call it brass. You just, you know, sometimes you just can't get good help. Good help. Yeah. And then you've got you've got silver. So with these multicolored fabrics, I don't think it would really matter which one you used. Maybe not the brass. The silvers are definite. And it depends who you're making one for, if you're making it for yourself or someone else. I think the gold looks really good with that fabric, and I think the silver looks really good with this one. So we have shown these to you before, and I am going to do something absolutely sacrilege to show you how they work. But what you're going to do, it's a four inch strip and the instructions are inside all your packs. It's a really simple instruction, obviously, but it's all in there and it's got a little diagram on how to do it. So you're going to fold, I'm just going to show you quickly here. You're going to press really, really well and then you're going to fold these two into the middle and then you're going to fold over again. Okay. And you're going to press it really, really well for me. Then you're going to top stitch down each side. Now, when you do your top stitching, a couple of things, stitching, a couple of things just to think about is that everyone loves a really good top stitch, but when you're running it through your machine, depending on what machine you've got, dual feed, wide feed dogs, small feed dogs, it it really 
it can be a little bit difficult to keep it really nicely on the edge. You can get straight stitch feet as well, but what I would suggest you do is actually run it with pretty much a standard foot and then just move your um, needle across to one side all the way to the right and then you're going to get a stitch that sits as close as you possibly can to the edge. I might show you. Okay, I'll just set the machine. In fact, um, Hanson, can you go and grab me a um, the foot off the machine? Oh no, don't worry, I'll use my walking foot, it's okay. I'm just going to show the girls. Jin's um, in a freaky mood because, I think, because um, we accidentally locked the window that she usually climbs in and out of the house through. And we do. Um, hang on, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Oh, that's why. Um, and so she's got other doors open, but she's decided to penalise us. We can't get it open, we haven't got the key for it, so we have to keep the key. And um, she's penalising us, absolutely, just being a complete nutter. All right. Let's just... Look at the mess on the desk, girls! My goodness me! Wow, didn't that get trashed in a hurry? Pop that over there. What I just want to demonstrate to you what I'm talking about. Oh, I'll just move Mum's flowers. I was going to show you Mum's flowers. Oh, Sylvia, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, I just, this is me just purely showing you what I mean. Find a spot where you are comfortable that enough of the foot is still sitting on your fabric. So you've got enough over this side. Actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll run this side so you can see better. So I'm going to sit that foot so that it is literally right on the edge of the fabric over here and there's still going to be enough of it pulling it through and then just move your needle all the way across to the far side far left if you're on this side far right on the other and then you've still got the foot gripping onto your fabric really well but your needle's right over so your actual stitch is going to be quite close to the edge okay that's going to be the easiest way for you to get a really nice top stitch if you don't actually have one on your don't have a top stitch foot for your machine. Uh, yeah, I do. Which one? Huh? That one. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. I should have. I could have done it when you were on the other camera. Rob, zooming. He's zooming me. Okay, so then once you've got your strap, that's all... No, I'm only doing this bit now. You can zoom. Once we've got our strap... I'm waiting for him. Okay, thank you. Once you've got... Oh, no, I've got to put it on here. Okay, so once you've actually got your strap done, so you can see I did this one... I would actually say that one was too close to the edge because it's going to wear out. I was kind of trying to show off to you and it backfired on me. So this one I did where I just moved my needle across near the edge and that's much better. Now I am literally going to do something horrific because for me being a short stack, it doesn't matter if um, my lanyard is a little bit uh, shorter. Hello Christine Davy. where are you? You're not here are you? You're away, I know that, because your goodies are sitting here. 
Okay, I'm going to... Oh, no. Yeah, I did. I chopped it off. How naughty is that? But all, all in the aid of showing you how this works. So when you get these, they've got... This is where I really wish I'd had a manicure. Um, with the zoom, you can see they've got little teeth in there. So that's what's going to grip onto your fabric. And that's going to go over here. Now I do two things to get this right. And um, I'll tell you what, one week without a show and I'm so out of practice. Don't let me do that again, please, girls. That was just wrong, wasn't it? Okay. So one thing it suggests in the pattern is to peg it, just to hold it together and then pop. That's going to go over there. Now, before we start, any frustrations that you have had during the week, it's a great time to make a lanyard because you can really take them out. That was one way to get rid of the cat. Okay. Start pushing it together with a hammer first. This is obviously my designer hammer that I have had for many, many years. I don't know, I don't even remember. We probably bought them at the craft shows, yeah? I wouldn't be the only one, would I, that's got one with the screwdriver and stuff in the end. But if you're going to get into bags, just ask for a Bunnings gift voucher um, for Christmas. Oh, Christine, Mum says hi too. Hi, Joan. Um, just, you know, ask for a Bunnings gift voucher for Christmas because the last, the last thing you want to do, isn't it, if you share your house with someone else, is to have to go and ask to borrow a tool. Oh, just the worst. You want your own set. So I start hammering mine just to get it to the point where it's easier to get the bits, the oh, glasses on, the bits inside. in there and then now this is the embarrassing bit look at the state of these I said this morning to Rob have we got any flat pliers and he said yeah out somewhere on the shelf in the garage and these are disgusting so either I have to buy whoops let's push that in a bit Either I need to buy him new ones for Christmas or I'll get my own. Just, I don't know. Now I'm talking too much and I have managed to end up with just, just a skerrick off kilter on one side. If I wasn't talking, I would have got that right. So you can keep bashing if you feel the need, or Jackie, if you are having trouble today, yes, please come back and watch later. It will be up on YouTube to watch later on. Probably tonight because I think Cass is busy today and she uploads it for me. There we go. All on. Nice and tight. So you can see it is a really, really quick thing to do and I think these are really, really nice if you um, actually make them to go with a small bag. Remember we did them with the glasses cases? So if you are making a little purse for someone, perhaps a little zipper purse or something, then make up one of these with the leftover fabric would be really nice because it only takes four inches. So that's that one. Now I have got part um, ready to make up a bag from that fabric, from the purple one as well. And I just wanted to show you, th this, is, this is a personal thing for me that I'm making for someone for a present. But I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. So I've got just one, uh, I cut a strip 12 inches. So um, 
you buy the fabric in half meter increments on our website so if you think about it you've got 12 inches taken up with this width if you cut what I have to make some purses up uh, and then I'm going to use one set of the lilac zip and I'll go back and watch that great demo one that we did with Emma a couple of weeks ago on YouTube um, in the Chandler's Cottage live shows about how to make the zip purses and Emma and I are still working on those but I'll go back and watch that that will be enough for me so 12 inches will get used up of my 20 inches for this big purse and this one and this one and I'll only need one set of the zips um, and then the leftover fabric that leaves me with about eight inches so then I can make up probably a little I'll make at least one or two lanyards with it to go with it as well so there's lots of possibilities I can do that I can make up a little coin purse to go with them as well I can make a book cover so all of those things you know that we've already done and talked about um, I'm going to go back and have a look, but first of all, I'm going to make these up um, and I will use uh, 630 Palin to actually do those as well. Okay, now just going back to this cool fabric, I wanted to show you these two. Here, I'll just pop those out of the way. Oh, I meant to mention too, we've got about... 10 meters of our gorgeous red ribbon left as well. If you just put in red ribbon, that will come up. We need to tag it this morning. So, what was that? Get your own pliers, they have them in the pink handle. Nancy Cook, do they? Oh, Sylvia, sorry, excuse me, I just have to come back to main camera for a minute. Bendigo Craft Show was great, spent $10,000. Please tell me that included a sewing machine. <laughs> Just... Uh, oh, Margaret Jones has got a new TV. Woohoo! Exactly, woohoo. Um, can't find the lilac zip on the website, Joan. If you put just put show 16 in, if it's not coming up, just give me till after the show. It's in bra. Can you make it live, please? Yes, so, yep. It's there now. <laughs> I told you I was not. I was not. I didn't have it all together. Lilac zips now live, June. It's there. It's there. So put lilac in at the top or show 16. It should come up. Um, what I was going to just show you, just quickly, is. I cut six and a half inches from these. Look, 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 look. So I'll, I just wanted to make one more while I'm here with you. Holy schmoly, how cool does that look? All right, let's quickly do one. Let's just do one and then we can see. So I cut a six and a half inch strip across the width of the fabric. And then of course you get all these different colors. Now, if you were going to cut from the fabric and you wanted to get really organized with um, you wanted to get really organized with all where all your colors are going to come from so that you have red blocks, orange blocks, yellow blocks, green blocks, blue and purple, you I cut this way, which is fine, but you might actually like to cut this way. Just just so that you know how many blocks you're going to get from each section of the fabric. That's just a thought. The other thing that you can also think about is staggering where you cut them from and these leftover pieces that you would get on the side, you would then be able to use those to piece an outer border to go around something. So just, you know, keep all those little thoughts in your head. But I'll just, while we're all here, let's, let's quickly do this. I'm really glad, oh, I was just going to say, I'm really glad that just out of camera is my bit of cheese gone, but it wasn't, it was right there. Oops. You're thinking, why has she got a normal ruler here? Well, I've been playing with decorative stitches on my sewing machines. So, as you know, they come through in uh, millimetre measurements on a banana. So, I was just having a play. Should we do, what have I got here? Got this one, got this one. Mm, I think I'll do the pink one. 
I'm going to do the pink one because it's really different to the other ones I've got. What's that one? Oh, that's a green one. Okay. So we'll just whiz this onto the machine. Um, I, oh, no, I won't. I'll just put it that way. Sorry, girls. Um, I was going to use the 590 this morning. Sorry, my 570 this morning. But Tim came and picked it up and took it for its service. So I did a quick switch. I hope you've, if you are local and you wanted Tim to do your machine before Christmas, um, I would be ringing him today. Absolutely ring him today because he will be heading off. Remember, he's a Sydney man. So he'll be heading off. And I don't think he'll be gone for long, but he will not be servicing machines between Christmas and New Year. He'll be up in Sydney with family, so get in touch with him. By the way, in case you're wondering, uh, we're not going away at Christmas, so I'm planning on being around and doing demos and things right through. Yeah, and some of it's some of it's just going to be sewing that um, that I need to do, but um, I thought for those that are around, it's a nice little spot to sew here, so I will. Uh, I'll let you know and we can just, you know, have a chat and sew at the same time. Oh, also, um, um, back to serious shows, not this morning, Stitch and Giggle, um, mm -hmm. will be Thursday night, 7.30 this week. So just so you know, Thursday night will be the next one. I know what I'm achieving before then and also what I'll be doing Thursday night is I'll be demonstrating one of the blocks from this quilt because a lot of people have just asked for a little bit of guidance um, Judy was one of them and we talked about details and I did promise to do one I'm now looking deciding which one I'm going to do um, but I am going to do one of them because as I mentioned Steve's asked me to make this quilt for him for his 21st which uh, I thought, well, I might as well get cracking and start a couple of blocks. So we'll be doing, we'll be doing that, and we'll be talking about raw edge and you know a bit of a revisit on Eileen. But I will have a couple of new projects done for you as well and patterns on Thursday night. All right, let's have a look at these. I also have, I, I don't want to say mountains but I'm going to say boxes and boxes of fabric arriving from America over the next fortnight and I'm quite sure there will be more new things to show you at least by uh, Thursday night. I am in love with this. I just think this is this stuff, you're right Cindy, I should have brought more because this could has the potential to just make a whole heap of blocks and create a colour wash quilt. Look at the, you know, let's, let's just mix up the heavens. It's good, isn't it? Maybe, maybe we need to, I mean, this fabric will come and go, uh, uh, admittedly, but maybe we need to just, you know, revisit this whole strip sew cross cut thing together, hey, in the new year. Maybe we need to do it with decorative stitches as well on our machines. I don't know. But we need to. We need to have a play. You would think I'd be able to get that right, wouldn't you? It, no, Lise. Come on. Get your act together. That way. I can't, can I? I got to go back and make another one. That one goes that way. I got to go back and make another one. I went the other way. Never mind. There we go. I'm there now. It is fun stuff. Um, maybe, you know, maybe we just need to think about what else we've got in the cupboard in the way of stripes and things. 
that that rainbow one is really going to give you a dramatic effect with um, half square triangles whereas this one is going to give you more of a, a, a colour wash effect if you like. It's really very nice, very nice. Well I'm going to head off now because it's been a lovely little bit of silliness for a Sunday morning. Um, I'm going to be back with you on Thursday night and um, show you some new stuff. Actually, I bought this in to show you this morning because I thought it went with that purple fabric. Did you see these? These are Mum's. Oh, are you zooming me out? No. Can you zoom out for me? Never mind. Can you zoom out now? What did you trip over? Box. A box. There we go, that's it, Tom. Look at those. Are they, you know how we talk, think about Australian flowers all being reds? Look at that. Stunning. I think Mum brought these down for me because she knew that the pink and teal border stripe had arrived. That, my friends, is purple and pink kangaroo paw. And uh, that makes me feel a lot better about doing pink kangaroo paw on my new fabric. So very, very nice, very nice. All right, so thank you very, very much for popping in this morning. Um, it, it's been absolutely lovely and we're, we're a little bit uh, a little bit rusty, but we'll get there. Are we all good now with, with reception and stuff? The girls had a bit of trouble. I need to play. Rob says he needs to play. Can you stay live without sound after you've finished? Sure. We can stay live, can't we, without sound? I'll just walk away and let the girls do it. Or we can run it through the private Facebook page. Um, there are a lot of lady tradies now, Nancy. You're absolutely right. Oh, Sylvia bought a long arm. I feel a lot better now. Because I was a bit worried. That's That would have been almost a trailer full of fabric to get you home. Um, Cindy's already bought her fabric. Oh, Okay. Uh, Sylvia said, that would be great so we know if we're doing the right thing. Oh, with the Be Mindful? Absolutely, we shall do that. Um, Donna says, I made an order. Oh, okay, so they had nice, they had nice quilt hangers there. Uh, thank you very much. And, and, you know, I'm assuming that it was a great show and, and that it was really busy because remember, I did ask you to let me know if it was a good show because you, you were going and we couldn't go um, because Margaret Upston, Karen Stiles and myself are all lined up and getting ready for the one in Morwell in um, mid-February mid so that will be the next thing um, Lise, we're not open over Christmas mate because we're online at the moment but please call me when you get here so we know when you're in town and maybe we can catch up for a coffee yeah, let's do that Let's do that for sure. Um, all right, everyone, I'm going to chuff off. Thank you, Kathy, and thank you, Yvonne. Um, Rob's going to have a little bit of a play. We, uh, as you know, went out and did some filming and things, and things have just not been the same since we got back. So we're just still sorting it out again. All right? Have a great Sunday, and I shall see you Thursday night. All right? Bye. Bye.